Yes, it is Mervyn Lee Myers. Yes. Oh, yes, I am the lady, sir. Thank you. Yes, um, yes. Yes, repossession, yes. Yes, they said I'm a nuisance amongst other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, when I spoke to Esther the last time, she, she explained the situation to me and said then you would be calling me this week but she never explained uh, uh, anything about the court papers okay so what happened on sunday i was here i heard a knocking on the window late sunday evening and then somebody i went to the door and somebody gave me an envelope the person said i should i should put whatever i i like i'm like trying to because i suffer with chronic anxiety and everything so i let me set the lady gone for it i have a 100 year old husband that i'm care of that's how we we did business all right so so i did not yeah i did not i did not actually get to look through the paperwork because the next day which was um monday i had to take my husband for his eye appointment diabetes we don't share the same address he's still registered down at his place but we've been together since we were introduced so he's actually here with me but we don't use the same address because he has his own property mm -hmm. so so the latest development they have gone ahead because i just came in from shopping and running about and the, uh, my husband was sat in the chair said uh, a, le a notice was sent was put under the door so basically, somebody came through the communal door with the keys that they gave me a letter to share my key so they have access. And I've been raising concerns about what has been happening with the use of this key. Anyway, the letter was pushed under the door so that I should contact. The number was there. So I contacted the, um, the number. And lucky for me, a lovely person was at the other end of the line who explained everything to me. So an order was made for whatever so that's why um it was being delivered she's she's so is she so she's so accommodating so she's gonna try and get everything to me tomorrow because i'm explaining to her that what the order is about i am the victim but they turn it around and make uh, 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 and make me the aggressor the, the letter the first letter that came which uh, esther cop copied yeah was a uh, repossession so as when i came to do the final mm -hmm. it, yeah because uh, esther did speak to me about that there was no uh, nothing else in the envelope pertaining to that yeah so so basically um i came in now and i was told that uh, an order was made so they done a, a court proceedings without my knowledge or anything because as i said the letter came on sunday evening i wasn't because of my situation i wasn't able to access it look at it and do anything about it and then monday now i had to take my husband to for his checkup and so what is come here now the lady explained to me that an order was made and in that order i can contest it but i'm gonna need uh, legal advice so basically it it would be whatever was in 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 the repossession and whatever that came on sunday which i didn't have a chance to look at <sighs> mm -hmm. But but that's what I'm saying. Sunday somebody came. Sunday late Sunday evening, somebody knocked on my 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 window, and I went to the door, and they gave me an envelope. The 
I, I asked the person because I'm, I, I suffer with chronic anxiety and with my husband's situation, I had recently had a high blood, high blood pressure and the whole work. So I'm, I have disabilities as well. So I did not actually see the letter, but an order has been made based on that letter. I didn't have time because of the situation. I've just come, <laughs> I've just come inside and I still have opened it. But the lady ex basically explained because a note was left pushed under my door. So the lady, it's on Sunday evening, late evening. Probably, but what I'm saying, because of my situation, I did not have time to look at it. So obviously the hearing went ahead and now there's an order. If the letter came on Sunday evening, so it might have been, if it wasn't on Monday, it would have been yesterday, I don't know. Okay. Considering my situation, I have disabilities. I'm caring for a hundred year old and, and all that's happening. But the lady is saying, who just spoke to me so nicely, said, whatever is in the order, I, I can overturn it or have a, a chance to contest it. I have no, I have, you know, I've been through so much the past nine years. I need somebody. I'm not getting any, any help. I'm 64. I have nowhere to go and I intend to contest it because everything that is happening is... <laughs> That 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 uh, um um basically it's whatever is in the letter. It's already in the letter. That Esther Esther Esther. I'm very emotional right now, and because of what they are saying, I have done is what's been done to me. Yeah, so it's hard for me to 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 accept to say it's in the letter, and they've wiped my journal clean and. The housing ombudsman is also involved in this case. And yet I'm, I'm the one at the end of this because they accepted some of my complaints. My housing association accepted some of my complaints and now they've turned it all around. So I don't know if you can help me in any way because I can't do it myself. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. I haven't worked um, in how many years, but if I have to contest this, I'm I'm prepared to contest it because they will have to re reimburse me for all the years of negligence. I have I have my documentation. I'm a person who keeps records. So although they write my journal clean, I have the records and documentation to prove that I am the person who's been wronged. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Esther told me all of that before. But because I know within myself and I have the documentation to prove that I am the wrong person here. That's why when Esther said to me, that's why, sorry. Okay. Mm hmm Mm hmm Yeah. But you said, you just said now, just now, I started off on the back foot. Deli deli delivering a, uh, a quarter, whatever it is, on a Sunday evening, late Sunday evening, considering my health situation where I've just had a high blood pressure, I've d gone to done um, blood tests and all that's happening with my di diabetes and all that's happening, I've just... I mean, bereavement and everything like that. To deliver a letter on Sunday evening, late Sunday evening, and with all that I'm, I'm having to do and to just go ahead and not consider my circumstances, you, you just said I started off on the back foot. My argument is because of um, what's been happening with me, my health situation, also the health of my husband, and I had an appointment for taking him to the to do his diabetes eye test on Monday. That is another clause that late Sunday evening I had other things to do, so I wasn't able to do it. On on Monday I had other things to do to do with my husband's um health situation. Then also I have my health situation to deal with where I I, I am supposed to visit the GP for the test result to talk about the test result i've just been sent a letter to also do cervical um screening and everything so it's also to do with my health so it's not as if i didn't want to to address the letter but also the fact that i suffer with chronic anxiety you mentioned the fact that it was really sudden sunday is my sabbath if if that's what we're going to bring the equality and protected characteristic in it then it's the matter of disabilities yeah and then i can name other uh, uh, other 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 thing ageism as well my husband is 100 years old elder abuse and everything that's that's coming in it and the fact that somebody can come in here with a key that i have letter they ask me so who gave them the key to come in here housing for women and i've raised concerns about what housing for women has been doing with that key ever since okay so i i know i have a, a a good defense that i am not in the wrong all that has happened to me i'm not in the wrong i'm not disputing what you're saying that you don't do legal aid it's just because i had contacted esther about my situation because my husband and i came there to look about business and that's how i contacted esther sorry Mm hmm Okay. Mm hmm Mm hmm Oh, 
Okay, so can I just say, when I spoke to Esther, she had said to me that you would be doing a, a free consultation. She didn't, you did not say that to her? No, no, they, before that, now I just called by chance. So I'm not also disputing, but at first, the first time she did, she did say about the free consultation. We've moved on from that because that didn't happen. And then she told me the price that, um, that was, um, that you, you would be charging and whether I, I want to reconsider. And I said, no, because I have a strong case. So now I can say this is the free consultation that didn't happen before. Okay. No, no, I, I want, I want, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want you to understand what was said to me by Esther. I don't know if. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. That's great. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I I have used Anthony the Gold for my first for my divorce. Yeah. Do you could you give me the contact details, please? Yes, let me get a pen. Sorry, I'm I'm very nervous. All right, give me the number, please. Don't go too fast. I have very shaky hands. O two o seven. Yeah. Nine four zero. Yes. Four zero six. Zero, okay. Thank you. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You hear what was being said? Yeah. Did you not hear what was being said? Do you understand why I have to record? Yeah? He 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 does um he does um he doesn't do legal aid. It's gonna cost me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no already, sir. Exactly. And now he's telling me that he did not tell Esther that there was gonna be a free consultation. Do you see why I have to record? Do you see why I have to record? Yeah. 